Good morning, Rams. It's report card day. Welcome back to the together. I'm your host. Jeff, everyone. We are so glad to see the end of another with the year. Why are you thinking of announcements from student services? Before I begin, can everyone please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to Hey Rams, don't forget it's Red Ribbon Week. Let's who can participate. Celebrate Red Ribbon Week. Get creative and win awesome prizes. Here there are two ways to win. Families enter by decorating your home front door. Enter by decorating your school campus. Decorations must feature this year's theme slogan, Life is your journey, travel drug free, and a double looped red ribbon. Then take a picture of your creation, upload it to redribbon.org, and then tell everyone you know. Five school entries and five family entries will be selected to win Gen $1,000 for the school to support drug prevention. So what are you waiting for? School and community. Mr. Edwards is not here at the schedule. Good morning, Rams and TGIF. These are the EHS announcements for Friday, October 26th. The Media Center will be closed today after lunch for inventory. Go Rams! Yesterday, the girls' weightlifting team had an orange and green game against each other. The green team won with a score of 529. Here were the results. First place, benching, pressing 155 and clean jerking 115, Mile Johnson. Second place, benching 120 and clean jerking 100, Faith Keecha. Third place, benching 105 and clean jerking 95, Catherine Bailey. Fourth place, benching 60 and clean jerk 80, O'Shayla Graham. Way to go, Rams. The National English Honor Society All Club Meeting will be Friday, November 9th during bee lunch in Hollinger Hall. In the meantime, continue meeting with your sub clubs. Thank you from Ms. Renierson. There will be an informational meeting for all students interested in participating in the Science and Engineering Fair on Monday, October 29th in bee lunch in Ms. Tiki's room, 0433. Please email Ms. Tiki if you have a lunch and need a pass to attend the meeting. Her email is tikiac at gm.sbac.edu. Today and on, Tuesday through Friday, the coffee bar will be open at the Hungry Ram, starting 7.45 each morning. Come down and get your coffee. Students, please include your other ID on your transcript request form and your community service volunteer hour form. Please do not wait until the end of the day to turn the forms in. The deadline to return your flu misconsent form has been extended until November 8th. Even if you do not want the vaccine through the school, please return the form anyway indicating that you don't want the vaccine. This year the flu mist vaccine is being administered by a nasal spray, not to be confused with a needle arm injection. The day of the flu mist is November 8th. It is important that these forms be returned in time to prepare for flu season. Stop by the clinic or the main office to get a form. Congratulations to our cross country boys and girls teams for their performance at district championships yesterday. The boys won the district title, beating out six other teams. EHS Cross Country Girls finished second place. Four of the top 15 girls were Eastside and six of the top 15 boys were Eastside. Both boys and girls teams 
are headed to regionals championships next Saturday in Wikiwachi. Good job, Rams. Hey Rams, did you miss an announcement? Don't worry. These announcements will loop silently on your TVs at the end of our broadcast. Have a great day. Is there anything going on for Red Ribbon Week this week? I'm so glad you asked, Ron. In fact, today. Let's stick the mic. <laughs> in fact, today, I'm so glad that you asked, Ron. We are at lunch today, going to have an opportunity for our students to actually sign up to do pledges to be drug free, because drug free living is really important. Right. And so we're going to be taking some pictures during A and B lunch, and uh, we'll also be giving out some ribbon badges for people to wear to encourage others to never mm -hmm. use drugs, okay? Right. We want them to say, what? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. All right. So Red Women Week, right? We want to remind everybody to be drug free. Always say no to drugs. Well, um, I think you were going to ask me some questions about. Yeah. So what's going on with UF and you know some other colleges visiting? You know? Well, it just so happened that uh, Bethune Cookman University dropped off some information and let us know that our students will have an opportunity to apply with no fee for their application. So the fees for the application for Bethune Cookman University in Daytona have been waived all the way through Wednesday. So if you plan to apply, if you're a senior, please make sure you do that because it is F R E E. University of Florida is also um, providing an amazing opportunity for students who have at least a 3.7 unweighted GPA. And so those students will have a, an opportunity on Monday afternoon from 12.30 to 2.30 to have a UF representative help them complete their college application and upload it with accuracy. This is the Gator Access Program. We are one of 56 schools in the entire country who have, get this opportunity, the only one in Gainesville. So I know Hawthorne and Williston have it, but we are the only Gainesville school that gets this right. So we want for our students who plan on applying, our seniors, to University of Florida to go to the college visits portion of our website and sign up if and only if you have at least a 3.7 GPA. Your homeroom teachers have a list of who those students are. It's alphabetical. So if you're not sure what your unweighted GPA is and you think you're around that, please check with your homeroom teachers. That has been emailed out to them. And then you'll need to go to the college visits portions and sign up for the uh, Gator Access uh, program for Monday afternoon will be in lab 6005, which is the new lab, and they will help you with your applications. Please make sure that you do that today before B lunch. Well, I think that's it for me, Ron. Those are our college visits and the things coming from student services. Thank okay. everybody for their support. Looks like we have some big tall guy coming in. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rams, it's now time for our weekly Friday Ram Buck drawing. Woohoo! Man, lit this morning, I tell you. Y'all ready to go, Rams? Big news, big news, big news. I want to send a big shout out to our boys cross country team. Congratulations, they're district champs. Also, congratulate our girls as they were runner up. Um, and uh, you guys, may you never know, keep keep working hard. But congratulations, big shout out to you guys. Mr. Andrew wanted to make sure that uh, was able to give you guys a big shout out. So we're we're happy for those our cross country teams. Um, as for today, I know last week was kind of a weird week, so we didn't do the weekly Ram um, Buck drawing, but we're going to do it today. I think I'm going to have five giveaways today. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, so today, if I call your name, come see me during lunchtime. You, you must be present in order to win. All right. So come see me during lunchtime. And teachers, continue to pass out a Ram Bucks. I have a myriad of them. I have plenty of them. A plethora. I have a lot of Ram Bucks. So just hit me up and they'll be in your box. Um, also, students, make sure that you write your first and last name on your Ram Bucks, your governor's name, not your nickname. Um, and we will get this show on the road. All righty. I have some technical difficulties here. I have a convertible. Uh, hold that for me. Thank you. All right, let's see what we have. I feel, I'm feeling good today because we have a lot of Ram Bucks. All righty. Our first winner, thank you for the drum roll, Dr. Edwards. Jalen Yule. Oh, my boy Jalen, come see me, Jalen. Uh, from Mr. Reno, appreciate it, Jalen. Come see me today. We're giving away some T-shirts today. All righty, let's see who we have next here. All right. Raekwon Wiggins. Raekwon Wiggins, come see me, and I'm going to give you some zip ties too, Raekwon. 
Uh, from Mr. Murphy. All righty. Yeah, yeah. I, I called him out. I called him out. I called him out. Students, make sure we're in dress code day in, day out. Call it like it is. Derek Lee. Big D, come see me from... I'm not sure if your teacher, uh, hmm, you know, is that Miss D? I think it's Miss D. Singleton. Oh, uh, yeah, from Miss Singleton. Thank you, Miss Singleton. Everybody give Miss Singleton a round of applause and give her a smile. She's in our attendance office. Thank you, Miss Singleton, for warning our students in a positive manner. All right, so we got two more. We got a lot of them in here. I'm going to try to shake them up a little bit. Ryan Coleman from Mr. Williams. Hey, Ryan, thank you. A kid lost something or fell down, and Ryan was, like, so helpful, and he, he helped, and, and he did something, just something great. And I was like, here you go, Ryan. Come see me today, Ryan. See, this is my first time ever um, being a winner. Yeah, we need a girl. Yeah. No girl. Jacob Williams from Mr. Reno. So congratulations, Jacob. Teachers, again, thank you for passing out the Rambuck. Students, continue to uh, be respectful, accountable, and motivated. There you go, Mr. Cobb. Anyway, thank you for paying attention, everyone, to our Rambucks drawing. I know you guys are excited about that. Anyway, so, thank you, Mr. Wood. No electronic devices. I'm sorry. I, I, I got to practice what I preach. All right. Thank, no, I got one. Uh, thank oh, you, you for one? tuning in. Oh. And as always, be respectful, accountable, and motivated. That means be a ram. Let's make it a positive day, a productive day, and a day full of positive vibes. Everyone, be safe this weekend. Have a great end of the week. And go, go Rams! And come support our football team tonight. <laughs> Citizen Field.